Hi, welcome to another how-to tip by myself, Rob Allen. Today I'm going to talk about joining clips to guns, floats, flashes, whatever you need to, by developing a small soft shackle type connection point. I'll show you this in more detail close up. This knot I'm going to show you, I developed years ago on a trip. I needed to simply connect a snap clip onto the end of a muzzle. This same knot can be used to connect long line clips to float lines or snap clip onto a buoy or a long line onto the buoy. If you don't have a shackle, this is quite an easy system. For this demonstration, I have about one meter of orange Dyneema, keep it nice and visual, a long line clip and a loop. This could be the end of a float line or the back of a gun or any other point you need to join with a soft cord. To set this knot up, pass the Dyneema cord through the two components you need to join. Set it up so that it has at least two, if not three wraps. The two tag ends must cross over, creating three loops. You can make this longer, shorter, just by pulling on it. To start it off, start with any one of the loose tag ends, pinch the middle together, then wrap about three times. Two will work. Three is adequate. I'll do three here. Once you've got them all together with the space underneath, take that same tag end and now pass it under. As you can see, I've burnt the end. It makes it much easier to manipulate. Once through, Slowly wrap the bindings. Don't pull it too tight yet. Just keeping them nice and neat all together. Now do exactly the same on the other side. In this case I'm going to turn it around. Pull it in position. There is my tag end. We'll now wind it. Looks like I did four on the other side. Two, three, four times. The tag end will now pass under all four. And we slowly wrap the loops. The neater you can keep it as you wrap slowly, the better it looks. As you can see when it's finished, both tag ends exit facing away from each other. Now tension them up, pull tight, slide them back towards each other, keep tensioning, keep hauling. This knot will self-tighten and lock against itself. That's the knot complete, not very tight yet. Difficult to do in front of the camera. Always cut the tag end, leaving a fair amount to fluff up. By fluffing it up, you apply much less heat and it sucks down into a mushroom shape much easier. There's no way that will pull back under the knot. Do the same on the other side. Apply the heat. Now 
and there you go. This is quite a soft joint, nothing sharp to hurt you, and very strong. The strength is in the three wraps, but it's also doubled. So you've actually got six lengths of Dyneema there, way stronger than probably the bungee cord itself and or your shooting line on your spear. Whilst discussing long line clips, I want to show you a problem that may occur. Generally guys use a cable to clip into the long line clip for a fish stringer. This can foul up in a surf situation. If you're coming in through the surf with a big line of fish on your fish stringer and your cable accidentally twists around that and gets tugged on in the surf, that can pop off. It's very rare that it does happen, but all it has to do is throw a loop around the right position and it pops through there. You can see I am forcing it open, but in a surf situation, you pulling one way, the fish pulling the other, that can pop out. Easy way to prevent that, apply a small piece of bungee rubber to the single tang. Slip it over. Being dry, quite difficult to get into position. Obviously, if I've lubricated it with a bit of soap, that'll make things easier. But there you go. In position, floats along. Put your cable through. Then simply slide this back into position. Being wet, it'll slide on very easy in the water. And that creates a lock. Even if that does hook up there, very difficult to get past and that'll save your long line flip from accidentally coming undone. Easy to release. Slide it back over and there she goes. Quite a simple trick, easy to do, doesn't pull out. Whilst with clips again, I have had the odd novice accidentally hook that way. Be aware that's not obviously strong, that's going to pull out quite easily. Best to go over all two with the third pin upright. That's very strong. If you're clipping a swivel in there, this swivel is designed to clip in. It cannot fall back onto the main shaft and undo itself. So clipping a long line clip to a swivel this is the right swivel to use. It can turn in all directions. Very user friendly and strong. Well, there you have it. I hope that tip was helpful and please feel free to share.